recording or not? Uh, is it recording? Uh, yes it is. Okay. So, those are a lot of fucking Gundams. So, basically, I'm just gonna be talking about them. And, oh shit, I left a few. I left two of them out because there's nowhere near enough room for them. And they're pretty big, and one of them's small, but one of them's big. So I'll just talk about those two first, and then I'll get to the fucking hugeness. So this is Full Armor Gundam. I was hoping that my brother would be able to help me out with this one, not the one that squeals in the background of some of my videos, because he's a baby. But hold up. Uh, Palace Athena is that big green one you probably saw. That guy. But this is Full Armor Gundam. He is an... He is Earth Federation, I'm pretty sure, I don't freaking know. He's got pretty badass looking shoes. Uh, overall, this guy looks badass. He's got fucking four shields, which is three more than usual. Venoms would have. I'll put him back in his box. Uh, over here we have... Oh, damn it. It's in the Sazabi Sizab box. But the Gundam is... Hold up. Efreet. So, Efreet has a lot of fucking kuna. And if you are a Naruto fan, you know what those are. Okay, so despite being a Gundam with not that much firepower, it's got a fucking giant rocket launcher. And you can actually see his eye. Uh, he's... Oh, shit. Uh, he has a green eye. Very bright right there. Uh, he's overall pretty cool. The po the orange and purple, orange, purple, white, and black is pretty cool with all the clashes of gray. And the amount of fucking kunai not kunai. Son of a bitch! Anyway, this one always for some reason falls off. But I'm just going to place him right back in his box. Efreet is really cool. He's in the Sazabi box. I'll talk about Sazabi in a second. Anyway, let's get to the others. So I'm just gonna start from here, all the fucking way to here. Let's go! Okay, so right here, off the bat, we have. I need to check the box. Uh, 1A Zaku 2. It's not its full name, you can look it up. But it's got fucking two rocket launchers right there. That one and that one. And it's overall pretty cool. I do like those weird things around the legs, those are really cool. Uh, it has what's called a heat hawk. Basically, a heat axe. This is a heat sword. Shit like that. But yeah, this is the Yagen. Its box says Jagen, but I don't know, Japanese pronunciation is different, I guess. I don't know exactly what you would call it, but whatever. Anyway, this is the Yagen. I always make it standing in that badass kind of anime stance. Because, I mean, look at that beam saber. Uh, this is a Gundam that's fallen on his face too many times. This is Luna Gazer Gundam. And it is just not fun. Uh, what's sucky is that it's fallen so many times that the top of its face right here... See, there's something that's supposed to connect up there, to cover up the top of the eyes, so it's just, like, only eyes, but, yeah, I kind of fucked that up. Uh, right here you have the sniper, sniper Zaku 2, I think it was, is what it's called. Uh, the barrel, hold on. The barrel is obviously just a barrel, it's got a gold eye. Which is very cool. There's Palace Theme. Palace a theme ha, has a very slight noticeable pink. He's got pink eye. Be careful, he will infect you. I'm kidding. He is a long range Gundam compared to the O, who will be shown in a second. Or at least soon. Uh this is the GM Sniper White Dingo custom. That's just regular GM Sniper. He does, they do have sniper rifles, they're quite different. You notice he's got that little weird thing. He doesn't have that weird thing. Got normal. 
Uh, this is what I like to call I nicknamed this motherfucker Asshole Gundam. Because he's an asshole. Now, down in his box, underneath, full of armor Gundam's box, he is... Hold up. Atlas Gundam. Now, asshole, I mean Atlas Gundam, is super annoying. That hand holding the gun, yeah, that thing always comes apart. There's the O. Uh, once I get back through that line, I'll go through this and then talk about this. So basically, that the Pal Palace Athena is Titans. He's a Zeon. He's fucking Earth Federation. Basically, Earth Federation, Zeon, Earth Federation. Titans. Okay, happy now? Uh, this is Hainu, by far the strongest. He's also got the weird gold eyes. Uh, he's got a double saber beam sabered. But uh, in the back there, it's very hard to see, but you can kind of see the little line. But yeah. Overall, he's pretty cool. I got him on a stand, that's why he's hovering above the ground. See, look, it goes up into his asshole. It actually goes up into their taint, kind of. Yeah, Gundams have taints. Gundams with taints. Uh, here's the Sazabi. Basically, his, his arch nemesis in, is the Sazabi, and vice versa. He's got, he's, he is pretty cool. He's got, like, orange, red. He's got that weird, it looks like a treble clef, kind of. He's got green eyes. Because, for some reason, can't fucking see it. Trust me, it's there. I'm not lying to you. Uh, here is the GM Striker. <clears throat> I have a brown one in the background right there. I call it GM Prototype. It's That's not an actual Gundam. You're probably seeing this bitch. Ooh, look at that. Ow, does that hurt your eyes? It fucking better. Oh, yeah, pain. No pain, no gain! Anyway, so yeah, he's pretty cool. Oh shit, now the camera's all blue. Oh, ba 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 ba. So yeah, he's pretty cool. He's got a face that exists. He's got a beam saber. He's basically the striker. And he's, got, he's got spikes on his shield. See? Those are spikes. Uh, this, he also, this guy also has a beam saver. He, this is the camphor, I have my own, it's just silver painted, black and silver, and it's very bad, the one that I custom made. It's got weird feet, I don't know why. It's got a fucking shotgun, by the way. It's got these throwable missile things on its legs, on both of its legs. That's a beam saver, a yellowish green one, and I'm pretty sure... They usually have pink eyes. Uh, this one has... Oh, uh, excuse me. He has green. This guy, I forget what his name is. Hold up. Okay, so apparently he is... Now, I don't know exactly how to how to say his name, but it's Z... Z-S-S-A. Not that fun of saying a name. I don't know Z S. Is it Zazza? Zazza? I don't fucking know. I'm just gonna call it the Zazza. In the back there, you can see his backpack that has a bunch of fucking missiles. Actually, all those red things, except for those giant fucking red dots on there, are missiles. Those tiny red dots? Them be missiles. He's even got missiles right there. But they're underneath his little... Uh, right here is Tri- It's not Tri-Burning Gundam. I'll find out. Okay, for now, I'm just gonna call him Tri-Burning Gundam. He's got a thing in the back. He's, he's got a katana, okay? This is the Gerber Tetra. He's pretty cool. He's pretty badass. Uh, he's just got a beam saber right now. What the fuck was that? Oh, shit. Palace of Thien fell. Okay, hold up. I need to fix this. Okay, sorry. I don't know why Palace Athene fell down, but he's all good. Not broken. 
Uh, Gerber Tetra is pretty badass. Uh, this is the Gelgoog. And if you notice, that was on a different Gundam. I forget which one it was on, but that was on a different Gundam. That's the Gelgoog. Oh. You're making dumb YouTube oh, hey. Again. Don't put me in your YouTube videos. I don't want to be in them. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just reviewing Gundams. So, Betsy, yeah. shut up. So, these are the two goofs. This is a goof custom. He's pretty cool. He's got a minigun okay, attachment. Okay, I just turn your video off. Uh, okay. There will be a part two, probably. Bye.